Well, hello, my beautiful creators. Welcome back to Monzon Media. Now, if you're a new photographer or new to photo editing, you may not really be familiar with shooting in RAW. So today I wanted to talk a little bit about what RAW is and how to work with it in Luminar Neo. Basically what it is, it's the file format that your camera saves its image as. Also, RAW files contain all the original data and have between 12 to 15 stops, depending on your camera, of dynamic range, which means it has a lot of detail in that file. Whereas a JPEG file size is compressed and often a smaller file size, but it doesn't have as much information to work with. In this example, I have a really old photo that I took many years ago with my Canon Rebel XT. And this is a JPEG version where it's compressed. One area I want you to pay attention to is around this area here. See where the highlights look blown out, as well as this area here. Typically what I'd want to do here is go into Essentials in Develop and bring the highlights down. But as you see, there's no detail here. So it doesn't matter how much I bring the highlights down, I won't be able to recover those areas. However, if you shoot in RAW, this is easily fixable. I'm gonna jump into the catalog here and look for the RAW version. And I'm gonna zoom in here so you can really see how this works. I'm gonna jump into my essentials area in develop and you see how it says RAW here. When you work in RAW images, this is the first area where you want to work on your exposure, apply your contrast and some color. You don't necessarily have to do all that extra stuff. As much as possible, this is where you want to kind of tweak your exposure and finalize it. So as I click develop here, we're going to grab the highlight slider and bring it down and watch what happens here. You see all the detail come back to life here and even a little bit here at the back. So if I do a before and after, you see how that's way overexposed and blown out. As we bring the highlights down, you can see all those details are still there. And this is a great example of the camera's dynamic range. If you overexpose your image or underexpose it by a couple stops here and there, it's not the end of the world. So shooting raw is mostly beneficial really to cover your butts when you don't nail that exposure. And it also gives you that flexibility and control over your final image. Now, obviously I would do more to edit this photo. So what I would do here is just use the accent AI to get that balanced exposure. So if we do before and after, it adjusts the exposure ever so slightly. I'm actually quite happy with that. Or I could even go back to develop here and play around with the exposure again, but not so much where I'm blowing out those highlights again, right? I want to still keep it at a point where I can still see those details. Also, what I can do here is you see that it's got a little bit of a blue hue here from the water. I can also correct that under color. You can try a couple things. You can try removing the color cast, see if that works. Now that tends to work just on the swan itself. If I do a before and after here. It just brings out a bit more of the warmth. But if I really want to be accurate, I would go into HSL, go to my saturation tab here and bring those blues down. Now see those blues are gone. Now I don't want to remove all the blues because it takes it out of the water. So this is where I would apply a mask and just add that adjustment to this area here. Now if I do a before and after, you see that blue hue is no longer there. Probably do some more here. So if we look at the original image, you see those blown out highlights. And now it's been corrected because we're able to pull that data out because that information's still there and we also fixed the little blue hue there. 
I have another example here that was taken, again, many years ago from a past air show that I attended. So we're going to open up the develop section here again. And once again, I'm going to bring the highlights all the way down to see what details are hidden behind. And as you can see, look at all the cloud detail. I'm going to zoom in here. That was there underneath the overexposure. So as I bring the highlights back up, you see this is how it was. And hidden behind that overexposure are these beautiful details in the stream of water here coming out from the fire rescue boat and the cloud detail in the background. And you can also see these little sailboats there at the back too. So I encourage you to try shooting in the raw file format. Now, whether you're a Canon or a Sony shooter, your file format may be different. Canon is typically CR2 or CR3. Sony is ARW. Now we'll dive deeper into the develop tool and working with raw images in the future. But today I just wanted to show you the biggest benefit by shooting raw and having all that dynamic range at your disposal so that you can basically have complete control over your image. Otherwise, you could check out this video on portrait editing features within Luminar Neo. So until the next video, my friends, I'll see you when I see you.